Victor, I'm going extra slowly and carefully, but I still think there's something wrong with me. There is nothing wrong with you, Connor. You are a fast, streamlined engine. You should be going at full speed again. <sighs> I know what you're saying, Victor. A and you're probably right. But I'd rather not risk it all the same. The next day, Connor was still going slow. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Hi, Connor. Oh, hi, Thomas. <laughs> oh, Thomas, you are impressive. Overtaking that big streamlined engine like that. <laughs> <laughs> and leaving him far behind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but it's not really funny, Annie and Clarabelle. I wish I knew some way to help Connor be more like Connor again. I quite agree, Thomas. I suppose his racing days are over now. And then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. <laughs> Here we are. Ulstead Castle. Sorry we're late, everyone, but better safe than sorry, as I now like to say. This is a terrible railway. It would have been quicker by camel. Oh. oh. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing up here? I wanted to find you. I wondered whether you might be up for a challenge. <laughs> you know me, Thomas. Always up for a challenge. Great, Connor. Let's have a race. A, a race? Oh, I don't know. My coupling rod might come loose again and cause an accident. No, Thomas, I can't have a race with you. <laughs> Not with me, Connor. I'm much too fast for you. I thought you might race against Stephen. That's right, pal. How would you like to take on the rocket? Huh? On your marks. Get set. Go! Pew! But I'm far too fast for you, Stephen. No offense. None taken. And no offense to you either. But you're not too fast for me anymore. I could race laps around you. <laughs> no, I, I can't race. Not after what happened with my coupling rod. Coupling rod? Coupling rod? Don't talk to me about coupling rods. Back in my day, Connor, we wouldn't have worried about coupling rods. I mean, we had parts snap off and bits come loose. Some engines I work with even exploded. Kapow! But did they give up? No! They picked themselves up, got their parts back together, and carried on racing like the heroes they were. Hard working, steam driven railway engines who like to go fast. Not like you, Connor. But I do like to go fast. Then get out there and prove it. Go on, you can do it. You can be bang on time all over again. You're right. I can do it. I can do it. I'll be bang on time again. That was a great pep talk. Did those engines you worked with really put themselves back together after they exploded? Don't be silly, Thomas. <laughs> I made that bit up. But sometimes you need a good story just to get things back on track again. And it got Connor going, didn't it? <laughs> At last, Connor felt like himself again. He was fast, he was happy, and he was eager to be bang on time. <laughs>